To get started, go to bookcreator.com and choose sign in. Sign in with your Google account. If you have used Book Creator before, you will usually end up in the last library or project that you were working on. But if this is not the right class or project, just click these three lines in the top left and swap over to your correct project or library or choose join a library if you need to add a new one and enter the code your teacher gave you for the project or their class. Click the plus new book button and choose your desired layout. I want mine to read like an online travel book. So any of these on the top are gonna work, but I think I'm gonna go with landscape since that suits the dimensions of most computer screens. And mine is most likely to be viewed by others on a Chromebook or another computer. This is the cover for my book, so visual appeal is really important here. Save your facts and figures for the inside of the book. Just try to make a really engaging cover at this point. This eye will let you change the color of the cover and you have various colors, patterns, textures, and borders to choose from. The plus lets you add in pictures, text, and other media. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the media tab and then choose import. There is a built-in Google image search here. You can also look for maps, items on your drive, or you can upload anything that is on your computer. I am looking for a nice eye-catching photo for my cover. And I think I will go with this one. Now you're going to get different photos in Book Creator's Google Image Search as compared to the regular Google Images. So I kind of prefer to have a second tab open on Google Images because I get more picture results there. I also find it's easier to preview them because you get a larger thumbnail. Right clicking and copying and pasting from Google Images to Book Creator doesn't work, but there's a workaround. So if you left click or regular click on a picture and hold it, so left click on the picture, hold it, then drag it up to the tab where Book Creator is until your screen switches over to your Book Creator tab. Keep holding that mouse button, drag the picture down to where you want it to appear on the page, and then release your mouse. This way you can drag and drop the picture from Google Images directly into Book Creator. It doesn't work with every single image, but it works for most of them. And I will say that I have much better luck doing it with the larger picture preview, not these tiny little thumbnail views. So always expand your thumbnails before you try to drag and drop it. Use this plus to add some text to your cover. Type the text in this editor, but do not worry about size or color just yet. To adjust that, click done. And then the eye. Here you can adjust size, color, and add a shadow if desired. If you need to make changes to your text, you just double click on it to edit the actual text. And a single click will allow you to choose the eye to adjust formatting. Now I'm gonna click this arrow here to actually get into the pages of my book and we'll quickly explore how to add information. First off, I'll click the eye to make this page have a more interesting background. I can go with one of the preset backgrounds offered by Book Creator, but I can also use a Google image search since I can layer images on top of one another. So if you don't like any available backgrounds, find something in Google Images, set it as your background. Just be careful to avoid busy backgrounds that are going to detract from your information and make sure that all your text is readable. If you don't like your changes, there is an undo button. I'm gonna reset back to that original background I selected. And then I'm going to use those same text and picture tools that we used on the cover to quickly add in some items. You can see that my housing title is a little hard to read, even though I don't have a busy background. And one of the things you can do to enhance readability is simply to add a background color to the text. When you are adding text in this simple editing box, you're not gonna find an accent tool. So if you need to add accents, make sure you are composing your writing in Google Docs with easy accents. And then all you will need to do is copy and paste it from Google Docs into here, and those accents will copy over. 
And in addition to simply pictures and text, you can add in multimedia items to really spruce up your book. So here is a YouTube video that I would like to use that shows some of the high-end modern housing designs in Cameroon. I just need to copy this URL from YouTube. Head back over to Book Creator and click the plus. Choose Import. And then select the Embed tab. Even though I am technically working with a hyperlink and not the video's embed code, when I paste it in, Book Creator figures out exactly what I'm trying to do. I get a preview and I can adjust the title and easily add this video to my book. You can also record your original narration. Just click the plus and then record. You will probably be prompted to allow access to your microphone. After you've done that, you can click start recording. You'll get a three, two, one countdown and then just start talking. Click stop when you're done recording. You will get a preview. You can click the play button to listen to your narration. Delete it if you don't like it or choose use recording to add it to your book. This icon will appear to let everyone else know that there is narration on the page and they can click it to listen. A book creator will initially start you out with three pages, but you can click the plus to add as many more pages as you need. If you decide you want to get rid of a page or you need to rearrange them, click the pages tab up here. Select the three dots to delete that page and drag and drop to easily rearrange your pages. You can also use those three dots to copy or duplicate a page if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself to reuse some of the exact formatting. Back will take me back to my editor. Periodically, you may want to preview your book. You just click this play button. It will let you flip through the different pages of your book. This is what it will look like to others when they visit your project. And Book Creator is auto-saving as you go. So you can just click My Books to exit or simply close your tab when you're done for the moment. When you come back to Book Creator, it's going to take you back to your most recent library or project. And you just click the pencil to continue editing your book. Your teacher already has access to the book since it's in their library. So there's nothing special that you will need to do to turn in your book except finish it before the due date. There you have it. Book Creator makes it super simple to create online ebooks for projects.